In this tutorial, we will learn about mtext, multi-line text command. Keyboard shortcut for mtext is mt, enter, then specify the first corner point and specify the second corner point. Define the area within which you want to write the text. Then type the text. Then from this text editor, you can make the changes if you want to increase the height of particular text select the text and from here you can increase the height from here you can make it bold italic underline overline strike through or you can cancel it from here only same way if you want to give superscript or subscript suppose i want to write something like this select the text then click on this superscript or subscript then from here you can create stack of text suppose i want to use something divided by something that is the one type and from here you can change the type of the stack if you want it diagonal or you want it horizontal if you want to give some text as a tolerance then write the tolerance suppose here it is 0.001 then here you will have to write the wedge symbol and give the other tolerance how much you want then select the text and from here click on the stack it will create a of tolerance symbol then next is if you select some text from here you can change the font then from here you can give the desired color and if you want to cancel the formatting from here you can remove the formatting remove character formatting so it will bring it back to the original state if we select these two lines then from here you can apply the number then letters then bullet from here you can change the line spacing how much you want then if you don't want the bullet from here you can make it off click on this off same way if you want to give justification center right left that you can give from here same way you can apply the columns also suppose i want to create two columns so it will create the two columns so i will reduce the height of the column and if you write something here and when it goes ahead of the width it will automatically shift to next column so in this way you can use the column and if you don't want the column you can click on this no column so it will bring back the text to original state then from here you can give different symbols if you want to write degrees suppose i want to write 10 degree from here you can give the degree symbol same way from here you can give diameter symbol diameter 20 and if you want the combination of plus minus that also possible from here there are some electrical symbols are also there suppose i want to give this ohm symbol or electrical phase or if the desired symbols are not in this list you can click on this other it will bring the windows character map from here you can select the desired symbol select here the windings font and select the symbol suppose i want this danger symbol select copy close this dialog box right click and paste in this way you can have symbol from character map then you can place the field also click on this field and from here you can select different types of fields suppose i want to put the file name here click on this file name then choose the format uppercase lowercase or whatever your format then from here you can choose whether you want only the file name path or both and you can also control the display of a file extension then click on ok right now this file is not saved therefore it is showing only the drawing name suppose i will just save it to come out click outside and save the file suppose i will save it choose the folder and save it so it will show the your path and file name automatically if you want to edit the text double click on it using double click you can edit the text or if you want to change the size of the text column by clicking on this symbol you can drag it and you can control the width and height of the text column then you can keep the spell check on so it will show wrong spelling with red underline 
and by clicking on it you can choose the applicable spellings and from here you can use the find and replace if you want to search something in the set of text you can search it from here then from here within a text editor only you can do the undo and redo then from these tools you can import the text from other text file also suppose i want to import something from the text file click on this import text then select the text file and open it so what you are written in it that will be imported in your current autocad drawing file then if you have some format applied to particular text suppose it is Arial black and color is red and if you want to apply the same format to some other text then you can use the match property select the text then click on this match property and select the other text to which you want to apply the properties same way if you want to create annotative text suppose we will just close it you can give mtext command from here click here then give the first point second point then from here take the annotate you and then write something and click outside if you create a annotate you text you can vary its height using annotate you scale here click on this annotate you scale and select the scale as you increase the scale its size will increase so from here you can change the size of the text in this way you can use annotative text that's all thanks for watching we will stop here